Hello everybody, welcome to T-Pulse Corner. Uh, and pre-made decks and I really wasn't satisfied with most of them. So uh, I took uh, the suggestions of one of my new subscribers, Jammer750, for the suggestions. And we took out a lot of the blue cards, so it's mostly green that's left. Uh, but this is uh, from the deck. Hang on, let me go just show you. Everybody has these, right? We're looking at the, the blue and green Desert Oasis, okay? And the stuff that we took out, uh, mostly at his suggestion, we took out both of the Rubble Belt Mavericks. Uh, we took out the Rivers Herald Scouts. Uh, Wind Scouts. So we took out, there wasn't a lot of blue in here to begin with, but we took out <laughs> most of the blue. And, uh, and we took out Map the Frontier for a couple of uh, the, the ramp spells. Because there, there really wasn't much in the way of, of deserts here. And Matt the Frontier really works better when you have the deserts. So let me show you the new updated deck that I've put together here. Where would it go? Hang on. Let me get out of the starter decks. Go to my decks. There we are. Lightly exploring is what we call it. I tried to change the, uh, the deck sleeve to it. And it didn't want to go. So you can see here, you put up here and it tells you, you can drag the card to change the deck image. And for some reason, uh, Bristly Bill stays up there no matter what. So here's what we got now. I've got the four, one Jade Light Spelunker. Kept the failed fording. I think those are important. We still have Bristly Bill. And uh, three Dance of the Tumbleweeds. Three Root Rider Fawns, those stayed. And I added in Nicanzil, Current Conductor. Whenever a creature you control explores a land card, you can put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Whenever it explores a non-land card, it gets a plus one counter. Uh, kept all three of the Hawatli's Final Strike. Need those. Uh, two Outcaster Green Blades. Uh, one Sentinel of the Nameless City. Uh, made sure to have two Spider Foods in there. I like the idea of handling some artifacts and enchantments. Definitely needed that. Just the one case of the Locked Hot House, so I don't go over 60 cards. Although I'm tempted to put another one of those in there. Uh, we went up to three Colossal Rattle Worms and added an extra Deep Fathom Echo. Beginning of combat, Deep Fathom Echo explores and you can have it become a copy. Uh, the ability to explore every single turn with this is really added value. The two Beamstock Worms, two Cactarantulas, and of course the Spinewoods Armadillo, and we kept Bonnie Paul. So not a whole bunch of changes, right? We took out maybe 10, 11 cards and... Uh, and, but I think adding in, having four of the C-Note Scouts will be kind of good. So I call it Lightly Exploring. That's the name of the upgraded deck. And we're going to take this out for a spin. And we're going to see how this one handles. So hopefully uh, Jammer750 is out there and sees what we did. And there have been a couple of other new subscribers too. So I'm Travis. Thank you for joining up. I'm used to the pre-mades being rather better than what we've gotten. And I'm just not satisfied with, with what we end up with this time. I don't think they have a battle tactic this early on. I mean, I guess they could. I don't necessarily need the ramp. So if they want to burn something now... Okay. I'm okay with that, actually. Okay, uh, let's see. What do we want to do? I can surveil one or I can enter tapped. I think it's okay to enter this one tapped. I'm just trying to figure out what color I need. I guess I'll take a blue now. It'll be relatively easy to get green otherwise. And we'll play the additional land this turn. Deep Fathom Echo. Okay. That's a good start. Two greedy freebooters. Now you're really getting greedy on me. And we're facing a swarm deck, looks like. That's kind of nice. Will it work if they sacrifice it? Oh, they didn't sacrifice it? They just wanted the 3-3? Three, three? Hmm. Let's use all of our mana. We actually hit the land. That's cool. I like that. Here they can sacrifice to draw cards. 
They just did that for the counters. I thought they were going to hit and then sacrifice so they get the treasure. I was wondering if they could sacrifice that and get two two card draws out of that since they did it twice, but I, I don't think it worked that way. But I would have liked to test that real quick and see. We may have to run our own test. Okay. Um, I don't think I need to play the one Beanstalk Worm, right? Because I don't have the extra land, so just play the one that's in exile. Uh, we like Jade Spelunker. We'll keep that. I don't need to copy anything, so I'll just decline, and I'll go ahead and rush in, because I don't know if they have removal or not. So while I've got a 5-5, I'm going to use it. Them chump blocking is actually a relatively good sign. Now, if they have removal, do they get rid of my reach, or the one that has the extra toughness? If they're eager to go ahead and hit me, they'll get rid of the untapped one just to swing in. Ugh. That's a tough one. Backup and death touch? And they gave up that just to make the trade. Not bad for some that started out as a 1-1. One, one. Now if they have another one of these... Okay, um, let's go ahead and get rid of this thing now. They're going to get some food, which will be helpful for them. Let's explore first. Dance of the Tumbleweeds is a good card. We're just going to swing in for seven. I think that's all I'm going to do here. I feel like I've got enough of an advantage that I have some time to spare, but I don't have to be desperate at using all my resources. This is kind of a, a failing of mine sometimes. <laughs> they think this is going to work well. It's not. I have failed fording. They don't know it. Equipped creature has vigilance. Are they going to burn a treasure to equip it? No, they go to level 2 here. We'll let them explore, see if they get another counter damage. And now, we do that. Excellent. Okay, 3, 4, 5, 6... I think we just bring down the, the Echo again, actually. That's all I want to do. See if I can hit a land. No, I'll still keep what I got. Sacrifice three of the non-land permanents and return a creature. So they can do that now if they want. What would they do? Bring back the Archpriest? They're going for the life gain. Really? Are they going to try the mill strategy on me with this? It looks like they are. Okay. Um, let's do this. Actually, hang on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um... Pay the six. We get basically let's go ahead and surveil while we can. Another dance of the tumbleweeds, I like that. Um, I don't need to copy that. Well maybe I should have. No, I think we're fine. I don't think they have enough room for everything they want to do now. What do you do? Sacrifice that, gain three life. Sacrifice that. Well, they could gain six life and go back up to 18. They can keep milling me. I figured they would sacrifice something and get rid of Dance of the Tumbleweeds. I've got so much ammo in my hand still. I don't really care. 
I'm expecting them to keep milling me so there's no self mill nonsense we have to worry about with them. Bingo. Okay, so we play this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll do maximum value with Jade Light Spelunker. And we're just going to pump up our Spelunker. It sounds dirty when you say it out loud, but it's not. It's just Magic the Gathering. Um, yeah, actually, what happens if I go ahead and copy that? Ooh, becomes 8-8 eight, eight with the three counters on it. And they're at 18 life, but we had enough. They didn't want to live with that. I like the changes. It already handles better. I didn't bother playtesting that much. Um, I left this deck alone for a few days. I'm kind of tardy getting back to this because I had uh, family in town. Hadn't seen them in quite a while, so I had to take a break from the game for a couple of days. So I apologize for not having any fresh content out for a few days in a row. At my age, family's just more important than my YouTube channel. I make I make no apologies for that part anyway. <laughs> uh, what do we want to discard? Um, I think we get rid of the expensive thing. I'm, I'm tempted to keep the expensive thing. But that gets me into trouble. I always want to play with the more powerful cards. And I was about to say earlier, they're hoarding a lot of the other cards, like the adventure cards, to try and get to try and eke out the full value of both spells, can be a problem for me sometimes. Landfall, a. Eh? Well, this time we're going to make good on this. We'll play the additional land. I kind of feel better about having some ammo in exile, so I don't have to worry about discard as much. If they do get rid of all my ammo here, I've still got some things to go to. Kind of glad they put that down when they did. They could have waited and had two of these and done twice as much damage. I, most people are not waiting on this. They're putting it down. And again, that's you notice I'm already showing again my bias towards hoarding stuff to get what I want out of it. Ooh, I like that card. Um, yeah, let's put this down. I don't mind showing them what that card is. This triggers each time if they have a cut down too early and they play it now. They don't. They don't have interaction that, not at the instant level anyway. They could still have a sorcery removal if they just have like a murder card, then my 4-4 is gone. The, their creature has already been worth the one mana. No, I'm going to lose my card. They had a legendary ready. Shoot. That's the only card I wanted to keep. That was my favorite card. Alright. Um, I can't do all of it, can I? I dislike you for losing my card. You had to go. There comes the removal. Throw away a land into the graveyard. They've got a restless reef already as well. We'll play the Caractantula. If they have removal, at least I'll get a card draw out of it, and then I can bring down the worm next. Kind of hoping this stays so I can make good using Watley's Final Strike. I don't have enough land to do two spells at once. Well, I could do these two, but that's not what I'm thinking of. Maybe if the Caractantula stays. Cactarantula! i got to get used to trying to say that. Oh no. The 
I'm just throwing away mags like they're cool. He's going to get rid of Final Strike. And he's got four cards still. Alright. Create the map token. Explore. Get another land. Choose the green. And... Use the map token. You know what? We're going to attack. They take it. Excellent. I've still got a blocker. There's nothing for me to discard. They do get the treasure, though, and they can get dragons. Kirk Tantula has reach. This is only good once a turn, right? Yes. They're still getting a very nice card draw out of that Marchesa that uh, Watley's Final Strike would have been really useful to use. I didn't quite have enough free lands to make everything useful before they got rid of stuff. I'm tapped out so I can't use the food. Do they have some destroy artifact thing they want to use? They do. Okay. Well, it gives them another card draw. They've made good discards, right? A bunch of lands they don't need and a couple of superfluous magdas. I can't get rid of magda anyway, so it's all worked out perfectly for them. And we're waiting. They're tapped out. I don't know what we were waiting for. Okay, let's bring in the guns. We don't have many turns left here. They've got to decide if they're taking 10, if they can afford that, or if they have to lose something. They're taking all of it might mean that they can kill us. Let's take the weakest of us and see if we can get a counter on it. Deep Fathom Echo. Okay. Now they could play a Legendary and I just mill that card away. And I don't have a blocker and the dragon has haste. They go after the one I just pumped up. Oh, wait, I've got Reach here. Okay, so you can summon your dragon. I could trade off. Or I could ignore it and let them attack. And just rush them with what I've got left. Laughing Jasper Flint. No, they've not, they haven't used the dragon yet. They mill away my card. Kind of expected that. And they're going to pay to dig through again? You don't have enough in your hand, just another land, so that seems like a good deal, but they're down to three. Do they have removal? They do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to draw a card. You betcha. Finally got something out of this. They can't really attack. They're attacking? What are you... <laughs> I was going to say. What are you doing? Okay, we're using all of this. Um, I don't know that it does me any good to surveil. Let's just take a basic land. And... Uh, let's see. Eight, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, you know, if they have removal, I'm dead. They can just chump block with... Uh... Oh, they can't chump block with Magda. They need Magda. Oh, they use the treasures too, anyway. So they're chump blocking with two. 
Do I keep this or do I use it? I can only activate it as a sorcery. Eh, yeah, let's use it. Excellent. Please be a land. Colossal Rattle Worm. That is not what I needed. Oh, after all that to get beat with my own deck? Gross. Okay, they don't have a third treasure yet. They threw away a duplicate Marchesa. And that one was worthless because I have creatures and Duress only works on non-creatures and non-lands. So that was kind of a bust. They, I think they already knew I had both of those. Dead. They knew one for sure. I thought they knew both. Maybe not. I already forgot. I think they should have gone for a dragon instead of burning through all the treasure. It's just me. Okay. Um, I don't think I want to discard this. I think we want to use it. They know we have this. There's no reason to save any of our mana right now. Are they just going to chump block or are they going to try and actually get rid of one thing? Maybe double block? No, they're willing to give up. I'm kind of surprised at the way this is shaking out. I feel like if I had their cards, I would not be playing it the way they're playing it. But they're they're still just milling away extra lands every time. Third fawn in the deck, so they get a very small chump blocker. Down to six life. Those two were tapped. They need something untapped on the ground now. Is that Fabled Passage? Yes. Okay, they can't bring down Fawn as a chump block. And they use Cut Down on the Fawn, of all things. They didn't bring down a creature to block? They did really good at milling away all of the lands, all of the extra lands they didn't need. How many lands did they go through? Three, six, seven, like nine other lands. There's hardly other, any other land left back in their deck. Do they have a... What are you doing? You can't block anything. I mean, you, you can block you can block one thing. It's not, it's not enough. What can you do with the one mana? Okay. You had me sweating. I was wondering. I think they just played that wrong. I think I was meant to lose that. Once they started getting my things... My decks are usually good enough that if you're going to take my cards and use them against me, I'm going to lose. Even with among all the discard and milling and additional landfall damage and life loss, we still pulled it out. I, th I think this is definitely doing better than the pre-made. Uh, the matches are more exciting anyway. I'm having a lot more fun than I was with the other deck. I think we're doing good with this. Finally get some one drops. Definitely keeping spider food. the land coming for now that's fine if I can hold on to these for a while I don't know if I can but being able to bounce all the things with counters my problem is let's bring this down my problem is they can add counters every single turn and they've got a nice little synergy with card draw going already. That could be all they need to push them over the top right now. Um, no blocks. Come on through. Uh, 
Yeah, I need the land. We're just gonna pass. We're gonna use one of these now. Don't mind using it on the token either. Glad you did that actually. Maybe I should have bounced it before the card draw, so that's probably a mistake on my part. But I wanted this to be a surprise if I could. I can really only do one of these. If they have some kind of hexproof thing, I might have to chump block. They're actually going to do it. Gives them another counter. Yeah, we'll go ahead and chump block that one then. We have to get protection from blue, so the green still allows us to do stuff. Uh, shoot. I still don't have a lot of good options right now for using the cards in my hand quite as much as I want to. Okay, let's actually bounce the 6-6. Six, six. Yay! We're gonna let that one through now. They know we have the spider food, so what are the odds that they actually play Virtue of Loyalty ever? I need to gear up something. That's kind of not what I wanted. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Only five. Yeah, let's do this now. I need a little bit of time here. If I can draw one more untapped land, I can get full value out of that. I feel like this synergy is just... They've got so much card draw so fast. Just that one extra token is, or extra counter on all of them might be good enough for what they want. If they can remove my 5-5 at any point, I'm pretty close to being toast. What do we got there? Dust Animus. More counters. They want to trade with 5-5? Um, I'm going to keep the 5-5 five five and just get rid of the 4-4, four four, unless they have a combat trick. Ah, they do. They just, it's probably inevitable. They have so much card draw. And, okay, I guess we'll do this. Let's go ahead and surveil. Nope. Doesn't have haste. Ouch. Gives it a counter, which gives them a card draw. Which gives it first strike. Oh no. Oh no. Does that thing fly too? Shoot. Oh, we're dead. Nice deck that notice that the uh, the variation was very good for them, right? They got one siege veteran, one Legion Duelist. Uh, at first, just the one Bond Warden, one Dust Animus, and one Boomerang Valkyrie. And uh, again, one of each of these. So if they have four copies of each of the cards, six, seven, eight, we've seen eight of the nine cards in their deck. That's It doesn't get better than that. Usually when you have an idea for a deck and you have room for 36 cards, you're making four copies of each, which means you have nine unique cards in the deck. If you're getting eight of your nine cards that you're drawing that you thought would make a good deck, that's usually the combo in there. That's usually when your deck's doing exactly what you want it to do. We needed a bit better interaction. We didn't get any of our removal cards.
Uh, let's start with the tap lands. probably have time to do that let's do our outcaster green blade we'll get one of these do another point of damage to them let's have some fun with the emotes Three or more creatures. I do have a failed fording. Let's attack first. See if they just want to do a straight up trade or not. If they're willing to take the damage. That's probably a good sign. Okay, in that case, let me do another one of these. And let's surveil this time. I've got one creature instead of three that's untapped, so I can't stop the Ceratops. This is probably... what are they keeping? They're keeping the creature, right? They have to? Is creature and or land? Is it, why did they not keep the land? They could have kept the mountain, right? Uh, Presence of Ages, yeah, and or land card, so... Okay, they're coming in for the hit, and they're bumping it up by three. Do you have even more pump spells? Trample is kind of a waste there. Okay, we surveil. We don't need land right now, so we'll surveil the. We'll throw land away. Oh, I like that. That's perfect. Um, I don't want to show them what I got though, so I don't want to explore. I just want to attack. That's lovely. We're done. I've got the one failed fording already. They're not going to have a hexproof thing, are they? They'd have to have some way to double their damage. They're giving menace to a creature that already has a, an ability that's better than menace. They're either going to save their mana for using something in their hand, or they're going to dig, admitting that they don't have anything good left. They can't attack. They're going to have to just wait and block. If they don't attack and they put down a third creature, I can flash in the Rattle Worm. It's perfect. They don't have what they need. That's beautiful. I can flash in the Rattle Worm anyway. This is great. That's all she wrote. Did well against the pre-made dinosaur deck. Let's push our luck. Let's do one more. I'm having fun with the deck. I was thinking, um, you know, I like exploring as a mechanic and the concept of it. It seems like sometimes it might be a little boring, but... 
I've, I've really grown to appreciate the ability to scry over the years. And Surveil's as good as scry, if not better if you have some graveyard synergies and you can do something with the cards that you're throwing in the graveyard. So I've grown to appreciate Surveil just as much as scry. Very useful tool. But you wonder if uh, sometimes if a deck built on that is really going to get the job done. Turns out if you construct it a little better than the wizards seem doing on their pre-mades. I mean, it really is a puzzle to me. They've got more than 30 years of history behind this game now. If you listen to the head designer, Mark Rosewater, they have a better bench, so to speak, more talent than they've ever had before. He believes, and not to insult anybody who came before, because we've had some really cool magic decks designed in the past in, in entire expansions that were awesome. So when, he's, when he says that he thinks they've got better talent now making magic cards than they ever have before, that's high praise, because we've seen a lot of good stuff through the years. And so that just makes me confused sometimes when they put together decks like the way they did these pre-mades. Easily half of them are so lackluster. I need to play a spider food. Hopefully we're not dealing with counter spells because I don't have a lot of spider foods. They just have another mastermind. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. Um, let's do a green. We can always do another blue if we want later. And he just has another combat research to spare already. This is what I usually lose, is just from card draw advantage. And they don't do anything. Shoot. Alright, let's try this. Um, let's make that blue. Let's use the beanstalk worm. There was a hesitation there. That makes me think that they have a counter spell. No, just another fairy mastermind. How do you get all three of those up front? It's basically ideal for my deck. Or against my deck. All flyers, all card draw. Stone of Wealth and Power. Ouch. Ouch. What's the extra benefit of that when it does damage? Create a treasure. Okay. Um, okay, they're at least tapped out, right? The, the one treasure shouldn't be enough. We'll get rid of... Oh, I have to choose one of mine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll play the land and surveil. I don't need land. That's normally a good card. Except they're they're immune from that now, right? They've got protection. Uh, but the next creature won't. So let's just swing in with what we got. We're going to see if this is enough. I'm going to sacrifice this now. And just gain the life back. Get us somewhat close to parity. They've got full view of everything that we have, though. So they know our draw, they know our creature in exile. They've got a ton of mana and three cards to do with what they want. What are you going to do? I feel at a severe disadvantage here. Okay, they get to copy it, right? They're copying flyers. They use the other spell to make a copy of Sword of Wealth and Power. That's kind of nice. Um, I don't. I do have reach with that. Okay. And I can still use this. 
on one of those, and that means I can actually afford to hit in for three points. I'm still losing. Again, this is kind of perfect for them. All three of their four probably fairy masterminds. And they still end up with three thanks to Season of Weaving. Ugh. A different sword. Yeah, they dragged out the Mythic Rares against me this time for our final battle. I can chump block one. What was that one they just did? Just a curious inquiry. Okay, so that's the one we get rid of. We're down to one point of life. And one is immune to instants and sorceries. And they can equip the other to make it immune from instants and sorceries as well. Didn't even need Vesuvian Duplomancy through all of this. Makes you wonder what other spells they have. Here we go again. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven unique cards that we got to see, and we just drew a land. Eh, can't be too mad at that. I like the way their deck's put together. Alright, let's go in and look. We didn't have a bad record, though. We had a good win-loss record. Mostly got beat because they got early card draw both times. Uh, Bonnie Paul didn't make an appearance at all this time, did it? Uh, most of the others we got to show, uh, Case of the Locked Hothouse really would have made a difference if we'd have been able to get it out and uh, last a while. So that's, again, if I just put an extra, one extra card, I think I'm going to play test with this. I think I'm going to keep this deck. And uh, I may, I'll go ahead and... I think probably I'll just export it with 60 cards in it, so I won't have the extra case in there. But I think we have enough ramp that we can handle having a duplicate of that card, having twice as many odds of getting such a powerhouse out. And if we could just start casting creature and enchantment spells from the top of your library, this deck really has a good chance to pop off. Um, the, the, about the only other thing that didn't show up that much was uh, we didn't get our bristly bill, which is very strange because when I come up against green and they're doing this bristly bill thing, He's almost always coming up on turn two when I'm facing him. Uh, the only other thing that I would think that maybe we change is we've still got three Root Rider Fawns. I'm not sure if we need that kind of ramp or not. Um, we have so much Explore already. We have the ability to get out deserts with Green Blade. Um, and, if, and if the land's just coming off the top, we also have the Adventure Plane Additional Land. I feel like there should be one other good card that we could at least get rid of one root rider fawn so let's do this um i'm gonna just keep this deck play around it with the extra case of the the, the locked hot house um it this is so much more fun than the pre-made deck that we had um yeah i think i'm just gonna keep this and whenever we have the daily chore that you have to play uh you know you get gold when you play enough i'm gonna drag out this deck and use it and uh I'll, we'll thank our sponsor here so i don't forget that uh, because and remember, if you're, if you're a paid sponsor like Sajik is, you can actually submit a deck to me and I'll play it for you. So don't forget that lovely sponsor. Um, and then also, if you've got a suggestion on what card you would switch out, if I want to switch out a Root Rider Fawn, what's the best card that you would add to this deck if you wanted to improve upon it even more? And as with always, we ask you to like and subscribe. Leave a, leave a comment on something else if you like. And we'll have something more for you next time. So this is Travis from Tipo's Corner saying have a good one.